Yeah, new video guys. This is actually, uh, this is continuing in here. Cont this is just where the last one ended. Here's the next steps. Next steps on the door, Velomarke. Last thing you saw me in the last movie do is mount these plates. I'm just gonna show you now, I make a hole. I, I use these bolts from Wirt, they are really good. With the self-drilling uh, tip there. So normally I can just use this without making a hole there. But you can easily bend it or go off when you put pressure with the, the drill. So if I do that here, I'm probably gonna break the glass. So I make a small hole first, so it's easy going through and tighten the plate. A little bit sorry for my neighbors now because I made a lot of sound here on Sunday evening. I drill it down this hole pretty deep because this one is going to be the uh, end support for the door. I'm going to be down into that hole and up here. Now then I'm going to measure out where the hole for this, uh, this lock is going to be in that one and we're going to make it. Just gonna make the same as I did here on this door. That's coming out, it's, it's locking on those holes. 18220 plus five millimeters, we're gonna make the hole in the, because I measured from the top there now, like that. Two holes, I'm gonna cut between them. Same with those. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> How is the weather looking today? <laughs> This is Isaac, my buddy. He's now helping me out with this glass I told you about earlier. We'll have this crack. We now try to fill it with resin to keep it for a puncture from it because inside this glass is it gas. So we will try to, to fix it so I can use it now for a couple of years. This is something they put on before the UV light to make it stick, Isaac. I'm just gonna tell you now before I forget, I'm really happy you helped me out with this. I know, I know. So thank you a lot. The last glass is in. My father helped me. And this support, it's now welded on. There we get the locking system, perfect. There we don't have the system yet, but it will also fit perfect. Then was all the welding, the main welding done, and primer is on. Now we're gonna dry, and maybe I'm gonna try to cover up this later on today. I'm not, I'm I'm not 100 in my shape, so I will see. I was watching now the last movie I made for this project. Then I said I was not feeling 100. I was not wrong because now I've been flying flat out for a week with COVID. First time I got it, but now we are back in business. Look here now, one border plate is up there, so the hole is closed. Now I measure out, put down this red bolt, and I'm making a line where I'm gonna cut later on. I didn't put up the camera to show you, but I have now cut it all the way on the line I made earlier on. And tomorrow I'm gonna borrow a pig, gear, a pig machine from uh, my sponsor, Diamond Budding. The weather is fantastic today. Now, I thought I could cover up here and put insulation and stuff, but first of all, I have to cut out a little bit here for the lock here. As you can see, I had to do it here on the first door also, because uh, yeah, it's a little bit difficult to explain, but I could use deeper this Celosi Casa, so this have been there, but then it also hit earlier there, so you cannot open the door too much, so this is how it's going to be. Two holes are made. Now I'm just going to cut there, or in there, down, and like that. Ah, come on. There we go. After both those was done, I snickered up this, so we have support for the inside wall there. Now we're going to put, on a, put up a border plate here to cover up this. And we're gonna fill this with insulation. 
and plast. Then this corner is so far so done. When I put insulation here now, I'm putting, first of all, a lot of insulation into the cracks inside here. So I'm, so I'm for sure putting insulation in every holes. And here when it's narrow and stuff, I use the foam. Started with the plast, but I foamed here in between here. So when this is dry, I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna plast it, plast it finished. Now when this corner is done, I'm gonna continue up here with these insulation pieces. As you can see, they are closing a big gap up there. They are cut out from this material. This is insulation plates. This is rest over from a different project here on the workshop. So this is coming in good use here now. I'm not sure if this is a good way, but what I do now is that the, before I put it down, I lift it and I fill underneath with foam, as you can see inside there. And I also later go up and fill behind it on top here. I'm not sure about it, but I think this will be good insulation then. And those will stick where it should be, Don't, it will not be loose, you know? Go on top there. I have to go a little bit lower than the uh, Hawkos. That, that um, across there, so on. Then is it hopefully fitting? Yeah, this is good. Us. This here is not done and dry, and I cut it away all the extra foam. The plan here later is to have a little bit insulation on this one, and then the, the cover going to cover it up and go up to this one so it's going to be a metal color cover same as on that door actually dark gray same cover going to be here and around the corner there now i've been down at my friends diamond pudding they are really nice people and i borrowed this one from them it's a bosch pig machine that's because now i'm gonna pig out the concrete here what I'm going to show you here now is actually nothing about the door. I have nothing with the door yeah, to do, you know? But my father and brother don't have water inside here now. I got it here. And this is the pipe from an old water pipe into that building. So my plan now is to connect the water to this one from my one. And then I want to put it down into the floor here with those cover pipes and connectors and stuff I got. So now the first wall going to remove the concrete. And it's actually, <coughs> sorry, the reason why it's piped from this workshop to that one is because underneath the floor here, it was 40 square meters. Underneath here, with, it's a room with a meter high. And in the old days, this was water storage, like a pool. It's not a joke, it was like a pool. And the water in all this was uh, running in this uh, takrenne and it was coming down to the wall here and it went in there and into the pool underneath there this water down in the cistern was of course not for drinking for people but in the old times it was horses here it was a stall so this was the drinking water and the water used to water the jorda and stuff you know so but this, we have to move it because this is now in the way since the gate is here but the short version of what I tried now for a couple of minutes to explain is that we're going to use this. Since we have it, we're going to use it instead of digging up the ground and putting a new one. We're going to just use the old pipe Rup, into those guys. This water pipe is coming up here, two of them. The reason why I wanted to do this now is that after I put on this uh, albu, if it's some dirt inside of it, it's going to be difficult to get it out. That's why I wanted to clean it now before I put on more pipes and stuff.
<coughs> I had to change my t-shirt because I'm sweating so much. That's probably a sign that I'm not 100% in shape still. Look here now. Okie dokie, I made uh, where I digged out. So this is ready now. Tomorrow, here now then. I'm gonna put zero form in the bottom and we're gonna start to make the steel stuff gonna be in the concrete. So that's coming now in a few seconds. <coughs> or actually before we're throwing in the towel here now today. I'm gonna cut this one. And we're gonna try to fit the collectors here. So this part is going on to that one. I just do it softly now. And we're gonna have this one down there. Now I'm gonna teach you guys something really important with this one. Then you connect this one, now I pushed it down. Then I'm gonna put a mark if I managed. Like there. I'm gonna take it up. And then I'm gonna measure from there and up and how far it should go in. So I'm sure that I have it completely inside here because it's quickly, you don't put it to the end and then it will leak. My cut have not been straight. So I bend the pipe now after this one. So it's lying in the middle all the way. Now I had to deal with one of my private problems, personal problems. Because normally now I just could take this new pipe up here and like this. But now I didn't manage to not put it on the line from this one. So I cut it and picked out more. So I can bend it like this and it can came, come up from the floor on the same line and exactly the same as the first one. So much work for nothing. This is going to be inside a cabinet. More materials. This, this one. This is actually bended. What's wrong with that one? This is going to have underneath the gate and that on top and a U profile on top of that. <coughs> the next day is here. Been at Brødenudal, Bede, picked up more pipes and stuff. First of all, I'm going to fix this water stick now. I'm going to make that ready before I continue with, uh, with that down there. <coughs> now I had Loctite 577 on all the fittings here where it should be. I am uh, further on there now. I put down insulation. I, I don't think I need insulation on this pipe, but in case one winter is going to be really, really, really cold and it's going to go minus degrees into the floor here, it's a little bit insulated now, so the water is not freezing to ice. This is now clemmed on. I'm going to show you how we do it. That one is clemmed on. Now we're going to clem that one. Then I have this uh, really nice Milwaukee tool from my buddy Paul Christian Paulsen. And since those is in place here now, you should do this one first. You like that? Done with that one. Everything is now here done. I actually fucked up this one, the length, so it's not straight how it should be. But I'm not gonna change it now. Next thing to do now then is to drill hole into this concrete frame for the building. So we can put steel into those holes and make uh, the armering for the concrete uh, piece we're gonna make here. Some of the steel pieces are in. And now I put up my laser there. I measure out that we're gonna cut this one around there. This is gonna be the height of the this one. The bottom one of those two is gonna be in this height. <coughs> and now that we have to measure out here also. Zero foam is down there. And all the metal pieces is uh, plugged in the holes. Now we're gonna make something here. We're gonna be the correct height of where we're gonna put the concrete and stuff. That's a little bit difficult, but that I have to do now. This is how I decided to do it. And I bolted this one 
to the tarmac and I use this sechila to straight it out so this is now an angle this way. So now I'm gonna use plates, cut it down here and those gonna be in the exact height the concrete gonna be. So then I have to have the tongue straight in the mouth, mouth when I'm gonna do that. But it's Friday evening and it's pretty late. And if I'm gonna cut those plates, I'm gonna make a lot of sound doing it. So I'm gonna wait with that till tomorrow because of the neighbors. I ran, I ran, I ran out of uh, steel yesterday to have down in the uh, the concrete. Here. So I picked up more at my father's place, my mom, and my father's place this morning. And now is it time to put more? So it's not too much left before we can fill it with concrete. And when when that's filled with concrete, the plan is to take down that door today, put standards and stuff, and insulation and yips. On that wall also on the corner wall down there is that the plan so let's start and see if we can manage that now i put out those plates here i'm still doing it now i measure out and i use the laser this has to be 35 millimeters high because from here the concrete going to be like that so i'm just going to make this finish and we're going to start to mix the concrete everything is now done time to mix I think I have enough for now, but now I'm gonna to try to straight it out in the right height. <coughs> yep. Then is it done straight it up? I'm gonna fill it later on, I'm gonna show you. But now I cleaned up a little bit and I start to take out this door because it oi 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 that was almost a Fall on my ass. I'm also gonna stop here with concrete because when I'm gonna put the uh, leka block in here, here, it's not straight as it is. Now I'm gonna for scar up here, so I'm fill this with concrete because I have a little bit leftovers. <coughs> All the standard vehicles is up, so now I'm gonna start to put the insulation in between her. I forgot to make movie, but the insulation is up two layers of five tank meters. You can see it inside here. And as you saw, hip plates are on. I don't have any more bolts now actually, so I cannot uh, I cannot make it finish. I forgot to buy the bolts for the hips. Yeah, that's how it is sometimes. The reason why I do this here now is to straight up eventual something where it's not straight. Uh, so here, here's the important piece. And I'm gonna glue on this uh, stainless steel piece here. We're gonna be there. The one was lying uh, there. And it's gonna stick much better the glue to 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 this after do like this because of top of this now it's a thin layer of water and stuff was coming up from the concrete and that it will not stick really good to that better to this that's why I'm doing it. Concrete is dry. I removed the first guarding. Yeah, here we have the result. It's actually really good. I also also got more bolts, and so I'm just gonna finish up these uh, yips plates on top there and tape it. And I, I'm gonna make this finish now before I do something else. I have now measured up the beschlag I'm gonna have around there in the bottom, top, outside, everywhere, like those. Those are here. This I'm gonna have my sponsor to make for me. All over done. Well. Cleaning a little bit. That's good. A bit of the standards. Also made this finish. Made a box there and you can see it's a hole where the cable gonna come out for the spotlight I can have there. Outside light. What I'm working with now is that I'm covering up here. So I made those. I have more of those. This wood piece I use for the fresh carrying. So I just use it again. This is gonna be between here from there over and it's holes in this one we're going to be bolted up to this wood piece so give it even a bigger support or better support so it's don't fall down the next years but guys i think this is the end of the video <clears throat> thanks for watching thanks for all the new subscribers if you didn't already subscribe please do it i actually didn't have too much time to work on this progress now the late days because i had to do so much other stuff 
that shit because now it's today it was a lot of ice after during the night you can see the water is ice up in this one and it's not cover up so it's starting to get really cold inside of the workshop in the morning but hopefully now i can make it ready the week which is coming up today is sunday i forgot to show you but this one is also after it's let this piece of the wall so again thanks for watching keep following on uh, new video is coming soon